Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, my name is Pop. This video tutorial shows how you can make little pop-up things that show in an EPUB. I want you to concentrate on these gray lines right here. They've all got a little right arrow and when you tap anywhere on the line a pop-up shows beneath it. And I have several of them in here. You're not limited to a single line. This one would go two lines if you uh, made it smaller and you can even put in animated GIFs or anything you want to actually. For that matter you can put lists in there. You can see right here there is a list. Uh, they all stay open even if you open the next one and the next one or all of them. There's another way that you can get rid of them of course if you uh, want to. You can just go to the very next uh, chapter and when you come back they're all closed. So let me just zero uh, zoom in on this a little bit and you can see it better and uh, I'm going to go elsewhere and show you how to make these. You can change the color of the arrow and so forth. Uh, let me go to the caliber program, the main one here and I'm going to show you what we're talking about. This is the file. This is an EPUB that I converted into from a PDF file for it, this is a transmitting radio and uh, the PDF file to EPUB is very difficult to do. After having done it I wanted to use the advantages of an EPUB. This will open up the editor itself and this opens up the reader. Well I've got the editor open so let's just go to the the editor itself and you can say the same thing is right here. Trouble is in the editor when you tap on it it doesn't work in the editor. Now if you if you tap uh, on a hypertext inside yeah that does work but the hypertext work but the pop-ups do not. Now I am going to show you how to make them. You only have to know two words. The main word is details plural with an S inside of brackets and if you want to you can put in the word summary and summary is what makes this show up. I have the word activate. The word activate is bracketed in between summary and close summary. If I don't do that it just says details and the details is what will show up in the little box beneath this when you click on it. So let's uh, uh, for example let me go and open up my snippets here and uh, uh, I put in a snippet for it details uh, uh, I, I also have it listed under summary so I can find it easy. I forget what I put these things under and edit. And you can see here I've got style and style. But you do not really need that. Uh, this one here I changed the marker to blue. The little triangle will be blue if you put this in. And it's all it's also got a box around it that's uh, a square looking shadow box. I got I got rid of that also. I prefer using my my own boxes that are curved. And uh, this is just a hint of how you do this. You've got details on the outside and this is what pops up. If you want to not have the word details showing but instead you want to have some summary text show you put summary summary and that text will show right there. Now let me close this and we'll do one. Uh, let's just go somewhere. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Chapters are alphabetical. I'm just going to go above it and I'm going to put in uh, a, a list 
Li. Okay, so now I'm, I'm going to have this bullet pop up. Now I'm going to put in the word details. Now whatever I put in here will pop up when I tap on details. One thing, it doesn't work in the editor. I'm in the editor. You have to be in the actual uh, viewer itself. If I want to put in something else besides the word details, I have to put in the word summary. Oops. And let's just put in hello. And the word hello is popping up. While I'm still over in the editor, let me go to the style sheet and I'm going to look up the word summary and you can see exactly what I have been doing with the uh, I got a border I got a border radius it's curved I got a little bit of padding and I said light gray and I said what kind of font it's the same thing I use for all of my little boxes I just happen to like it doing it that way now I'm going to hit control s I've saved it. Now I have to go back to the main caliber program and open up the EPUB again. Takes a second. And let's see if I can enlarge this and if we've got anything. There it is, hello. And then I go pop up. And that's it. Uh, in the next uh, few uh, videos, I'm going to show how you can make links. And uh, these are hypertext links that go inside of your book. They don't, they're not external. My name is Pop, and I thank you very, very much.